one o'clock today, you unveiled the sea yeah. change deal. A great fanfare, from what I understand. What's the deal? What's the mission? That was really what are you fun. Doing? Well, a sea change change is all about trying to understand how we can look through a public health lens. Look at, at climate change. As compared so, to what? Well, at polar bears, um, at thinking it's all about distant countries. And I think that what's happened with, with climate change is we started out so big wanting to really get people aware of the breadth of the problem that everybody's pointing at everybody else and thinking there's nothing they can do. And they also think it's not impacting them and their families. So the most important thing I, can, I think we can do is ground it. It is carbon pollution. I am now working at the very place that delivered those studies that EPA doesn't mm -hmm. want to do. And I can tell you that we can reduce air pollution, protect our kids, protect our future, and address the issue of climate if we're smart about where, what we look and how we look at it. So we go from polar bears to your kid, essentially. Yeah, you know, uh, before I knew you, I used to debate a woman who died a couple of years ago, a legendary woman, head of the uh, Citizens for Limited Taxation. And what she would yeah, always she was, uh, say is, let's bring true. everything down to the barbershop yeah, level yeah, to make yeah. it accessible. for, And yeah, that's essentially yeah. what you're doing. There. Yeah, because science is, is complicated. We need to make it simple. We need to make people understand it. It's got to be relevant in there, order for them to act on You're on it. the cover of the Globe Sunday magazine in a 300,000 word piece or something. It's like <laughs> war and peace. Wait till you see the <laughs> second edition. <laughs> <laughs> but you're quoted in a speech, I think it was in Falmouth or something, where you said, I love you scientists dearly, but you could, could you speak English? I hope that's part of the mission here, because as oh, a layperson, I care about this. Yeah. Often I have no idea what well-intentioned people are talking about. You know, Dean Williams at the School of Public Health said, Gina, can you please just help me translate the science? We do world-class science. It has to be actionable. People have to be able to digest it, understand it, make sure that they understand it, and bring decision-makers to the table. You know, Harvard can convene people who can do something with that decision. We don't need Washington to get it as long as other people who can do something about it. You get know, it. The, the, the tasks that you've outlined from Sea Change are so simple, and I don't mean to be disparaging them, but it's hard for me to believe it's not being, this no. is not being done P elsewhere on the climate change no. spectrum here? No, uh, one of our, our big initiatives is about healthy kids and climate. You mm. would not believe the, the sort of vacuum of information on what climate means to our kids. We look at heat stress as it impacts adolescents and I'm sorry, adults, mm. not adolescents. So we have to go back to really looking at the data, understanding how we can talk to people about things that matter to them, stop them from being afraid of climate change so that they can begin to act on it together. We That's all, can there's also address a class, this class issue. thing, right? I mean, it, yeah. it's more the province yeah of the elite than it is of working class America. Is that not, I don't mean the impact, but I mean the, yeah. the embrace. Is that a fair I th statement? I think so. I, I th because I think many communities believe that, that both what they do doesn't matter. They don't have a voice in decisions. We know that environmental justice is alive and well. Climate change has climate justice issues. That's why you need to explain to folks that you can take actions that address climate change, but you can align it with your public health goals and get to those communities that have been left behind. Give them a voice. Make change for them. That will broaden it. That will make it personal and will make progress. I only have 30 seconds left. Yeah. June 7th, uh, Mayor Walsh mentioned to us on the radio yeah. the day, you're part of this international mayor's That's climate right. change thing. Can mayors do what our federal government, can they fill in oh, with the federal sure government can. stepped out? They oh, can. they sure can. Let's not forget, hardly anything starts at the federal government. It works its way up from the grassroots level. Right now, we're counting out what's going on at the federal government, and instead, businesses, cities, states are where the action is. Cities, mayors, can't deny that the climate is changing, but they can be smart about how they invest. They can take a look at how they deploy those new clean buses in the communities where they need the air pollution relief the most. We can save lives today while we invest in our future together. Jay, That's what it's all about. With the new group, really Thanks. appreciate it. Appreciate Gina it. McCarthy. If you'd like to learn more about the new Sea Change program at the Harvard School of Public Health, the Chan Harvard School of Public Health, visit them online at hsph.harvard.edu.